I don't know about you, but the thing that I'm pretty certain has thwarted my Olympic dreams is stitches, those side pains, or as scientists like to call them, exercise-related transient abdominal pains. They're kind of still a mystery to science, but there are some good ideas about what may cause them. We humans evolved to sprint short distances. Our primate ancestors don't have the strong Achilles tendons that we have, or the big, strong gluteus maximus muscle that we use to stabilize and balance ourselves on two legs. For long distances, we tend to walk, and there's still a lot of discussion about whether our bodies are even suited to long distance running at all. It's thought that all of our organs jiggling around inside our body for a prolonged period of time is gonna put extra strain on our already stressed diaphragm muscle and the ligaments, muscles, tendons that are connected to it. And it's that strain that manifests itself as a stitch. But the problem is science just doesn't know which ligament, muscle or tendon is gonna feel that strain the most because it's different for all of us. I'm gonna give you my top tip for what you can do to get rid of a stitch when you're out running in a sec. But first, what can you do to prevent getting a stitch in the first place? One, train up your abdominal muscles because the tighter they are, the better you'll be able to keep your organs in place. Two, warm up before you go for a run because if your muscles are ready to be worked out, they won't feel that sudden strain. And three, up the electrolytes in your diet with some good nutrition. You need sodium because those ions help transmit the nerve signals from your brain to your muscles, telling them to contract. You need calcium because those ions help hook the muscle fibers together. And also without calcium, you're gonna get spasms. You also need magnesium because that helps unhook those muscle fibers again. But if you haven't been working on your abs, if you haven't been nailing your electrolytes and your nutrition, and you haven't warmed up, and you get a stitch when you're out on a run, what can you do about it? Time to hit the gym. Well, Chris here is gonna be my glamorous assistant. How you doing, mate? Good, thanks. Okay, good. <laughs> this is only like the fifth take, it's fine. You might not realize this when you're out on a run, but if you look at which foot hits the ground as you breathe in, you may find that it's always the same foot striking the ground as you inhale. So if we look at Chris, every time he's breathing in, his left foot is hitting the ground. Now that puts an uneven, unequal force onto his diaphragm and the abdominal lining on the left-hand side. Now that increases the chance of him getting a stitch. So here's the tip. What you need to do if you get a stitch is slow down your pace and change your gait. So what you need to do is make sure you're breathing in as your opposite foot hits the ground. That's gonna reduce that pain on your diaphragm, on the abdominal lining, and hopefully your stitch will disappear. You got that, mate? Should we up the pace a bit? Next stop, marathon. So what happens when you crack your knuckles? When you move the joint, you stretch the capsule inside.